Hey everybody, it's Adrian from the OM Glistens here for our daily dose of such fun. Um, every day we go through Miranda Hart's book, Miranda's Daily Dose of Such Fun, and we upload her uh, assignment or challenge and uh, post them here on our YouTube channel, OM Glisten. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that, uh, all that good stuff. Um, today's assignment is to, um, I'll post it here because again, I don't have it in front of me. Um, I'll post it here. Uh, so basically is to, you know, reflect on past relationships and maybe, you know, get some together. Um, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about, uh, some relationships, uh, that I've had that haven't worked out, uh, have worked out, uh, had problems, came back, that, that sort of thing. Um, when I was a young adult, um, I, you know, always been a bit of a people pleaser, you know, and, um, uh, you know, just kind of took people for what they were, you know, and, uh, if somebody, you know, treated me badly, oh, it's just them, you know, that's, that's just the way they are. Um, I no longer, uh, give people slack because that's just the way they are. Um, I think that that is crap. Um, and somewhere along the line, and I was a, a pretty young adult when, when this clicked for me. Um, if somebody wasn't, didn't make me feel good, um, or didn't, uh, you know, or d offended me, um, I realized at a rather young age, my early twenties, uh, that I didn't need this person in my life then. Um, so I have, I've cut out several people from my life, uh, friends who, um, uh, didn't make me feel good about myself, right? Uh, I had one friend who constantly was trying to, like, change me, you know? She was constantly trying to, like, make me her project and make me lose weight and all this kind of stuff. And, and you know, I'd known her from a very young age. and um, But there was a point where I was like, you, you know, I, I don't need this from you. I don't need to be changed. I'm happy with who I am. Um, and I don't need this. Um, okay, I'm back. So, um, uh, so like I was saying, I, I, I didn't like the way that she made me felt. I didn't like the way, um, she condescendingly treated me like a project because I'm better than that. I don't need to be fixed. I'm happy with who I am. Um, so I didn't need that in my life. Um, so I cut that out. Uh, and, um, you know, obviously happy to be cordial and all that kind of stuff. Uh, don't see, uh, don't see this person very often, but when I do, everything's fine. Um, uh, on, on the other hand, uh, I did have a very good friendship that, uh, uh, blew up in my early twenties, uh, late twenties actually, uh, because of me, right? Um, I had felt wronged, uh, and had a huge overreaction to it. And, uh, it really cost me a really, you know, good relationship and we had since made up, um, but it never got back to the way it was and it was great. Um, and we were just never able to, to get it back the way it was. Right. So the moral of my stories, if you have a friendship that you treasure, treasure it, right? Treat it as such. Don't blow it up right? Don't overreact. Um, but if you have a friendship with someone where someone is making you feel less than they, if someone is treating you, um, in a, a condescending way, always seeming to try and fix you, whether you want to be fixed or not, it is okay to cut those people out of your life. You don't have to be everyone's friend. Um, I tell this to the girls, Everyone is not going to like you all of the time and you are not going to like everyone else all of the time and that's okay, right? What's important is just to be kind and to be um, civil and, and, and nice, um, but you also have to protect yourself and uh, make sure that you aren't taken advantage of, right? Sorry, my hand's shaking a little bit. It's... <laughs> it's 
I don't have the tripod out here. Um, but anyway, so that's it. That's my, my musings on, on friendship. Um, I, but with all that tumultuousness, um, I do have some of the best friendships in the world that have stuck with me some since the age of five. Um, so I am, am very lucky in that, in that aspect. Um, and some new friends, hi, Mar Emily, um, that I treasure now as well. So such fun.